I'm here with Subi SVX, or as GT Planet users will know him, uh, SVX. Um, he's done his lap in our GDA car, and we're going to have a quick chat to him. Uh, how you doing, Subi? Oh, uh, yeah, pretty good yourself. Yeah, no, good dude, good. Um, what was your first game console, mate? Uh, that would have been the PS1. Um, probably was the original Grand... I think my first game was Gran Turismo 1, and then I was playing stuff like Crash Bandicoot and uh, Need Speed High Stakes, and I was quite lucky because I got PS1 in a quite early age, and that's probably what's one of the reasons why I love Gran Turismo so much, because I just became obsessed with the hot lapping and general nerdism of cars in the game. <laughs> um, what was your first car in GTA 5? Uh, first car... Um, first... Hmm. Well, I went for a few cars, actually, since I was actually a pretty awesome driver and didn't understand the concept of insurance, but I had Asia for a while, and then um, I had a bug where I would, um, for a game session, it wouldn't uh, shift out of first gear, and I thought that was to do with the car being a turd itself, so I quickly changed it to a buffalo, and I found out it was just the problem with the entire game session. And yeah, yeah. buffalo went well, and then, until it went into the ocean, and I didn't have insurance, <laughs> um, where it got kind of wet, um, and then <laughs> last car I got would have been a Dominator, and I actually put insurance on it, and I had that until I got my first apartment, which was the 400k one, and it was a good car, it was fast when you needed it, it was durable, and it could go off road, and it had a it was pretty badass as well. Yeah, I, I love my Dominator, they're, they're great. Um, yeah. What was your favourite game of the last 10 years? Hmm. GTA 5, probably, without a doubt. I just. There's a reason why I've done the career twice. Because even though it's got, I don't know, probably about 80 missions or so, each mission feel, still feels new and different and exciting. It's just. Yeah. You can see they've taken their time on it. And. Yeah, it's, this was the first game I ever pre-ordered, and I'm not regretting a second of it. That's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. Um, uh, do, you, do you work, or are you uh, still at school? Um, I don't. I've still got a school at the moment. Uh, currently in my, at college, but, uh, and I've, but I have been recently kind of looking for work. But I do do a bit, help out my dad and stuff with a bit of work. And it could be stuff from washing the cars to helping build a fence or something. And um, planning to start doing a paper run soon, which will be quite interesting. Oh, nice, nice. Um, how did you find GT Planet? What brought you there? Um, oh, that was good old five years ago. Um, uh, I think one of the first reasons I used it was um, for the car list of Grand Turismo 4. As for some reason, I just kept on loving looking at the. I love I kept on looking at the Grand Turismo 4 car list uh, back when I had that. And um, I think one day I was going through the um, rules or something. I don't think I actually. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the rules, and I didn't notice a. Uh, 13 year old um, limit, so I quickly joined, and um, yeah, and I didn't get kicked out, so that's why I'm still here today. <laughs> Not, nicely done, nicely done. <laughs> um, what's the most annoying thing about GTA 5 online? Um, oh, I've got a few of these, I love to rant about this. Um, <laughs> probably uh, finishing a mission. And then going to free mode and getting put into a random session most of the time. Ooh, it's yeah. Annoying. Yeah. Um, uh, if it fails to connect to a session or you get kicked out of the session, it takes you to another online session it's, instead of taking you to a uh, GTA single player, which I find really annoying because you have to wait for it to load because the public sessions for me at least. 
take really long loading times, and then when it finally goes, you do all, your, all of that hard effort that you have to do is just turned to quitting out, and it ticks me off quite a lot. And probably recently, uh, the inability to actually accept game invites most of the time. If I don't have a fresh invite, and I just use an old one, like well, I think yeah. if I have to sign out or something, uh, it always goes unable to connect to game session, which is quite annoying, especially back in the days of that um, single player to multiplayer glitch, where I would have to up get asked to invite to a, a crew session, but I would have to tell them, you have to invite me when I come online, and that would yeah. be quite annoying if they don't read their mess messages or so. Um, I know our, um, our cameraman would have found that one particularly annoying as well, I, I reckon. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, other than that, I love the game. Oh, and probably my last would be the um, shallowness of the missions. There's a few, quite a few missions, but they're quite samey, and I think I've actually done all of them except for a few, and now if I want to get money, I have to grind the same missions over you. So exciting missions to do. Should be, in my opinion, should be at least missions that you still unlock at maybe 120 or so. Because yeah, I'm yeah. just about 120, and now I feel like the only thing I have to do, since I've done all the missions, is to just get a minigun, and I've essentially completed the game. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about right, too. Um, uh, so you're part of the GC Planet crew, are you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, who would you like to, uh, is there someone on there you'd like to nominate to do this? Um, uh, or yeah, um, uh, I've got a good friend, his name's Skyfall on GD Planet, and we're quite known for messing around on GD Planet, GD knows that trains and cars don't mix with us, and, um, uh, yeah, and he's a real cool guy, and, um, He's real fun to be around, and we actually share the same opinion for most of the stuff, which is quite funny, especially on cars and stuff. We generally have the same opinion. We do have a few things that we shouldn't discuss because it ends up quite heated. But yeah, um, <laughs> we do. Again, we, he's kind of like an older version of me in some respects, except for he's amazing at music and stuff. <laughs> And final question for you, dude. Uh, what did you think of the track? Uh, I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, I was expecting it to be quite easy, but with the Asia, you actually had to think before you turned. No, it wasn't. Since the GTA physics are quite simple, you actually had to think when you had to turn in. Since Asia had a bit of uh, initial, uh, had a bit of uh, end of corner understeer, or generally turning wideness, thanks to the silly front wheel drive physics of GTA, and um, <laughs> you actually had to think when you wanted to turn in so you could clip the apex and make it out on the end, but I think I'm just putting too much thought into a game made, made about killing and robbing people, but <laughs> um, yeah, I generally found it quite enjoying, and I think that'd actually be really good for a race, because it's not really complicated and silly where you have to go into t tight 90 degree corners the stuff we seem to log up and then with a puppet lobby essentially make explosions. But um, with a people have actually with a, a with a nearly like maybe about five or so people and well people that know what they're doing have know how to use a brake, uh, I think it'd be actually quite fun track to race on. Uh, that's good to hear. And just before you go, would you mind standing up and showing us your favourite animation? Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm probably going to be known as quite immature and quite um, oh, to point out obvious, don't. but I just love the um, general how excited when you win a race and you have that as your final thing. It just it's so enthusiastic about it. Like, like <laughs> they're so happy you have to take it out on the animation, and that's why I love it so much. Thanks for joining us, Ruby. Um Thank you so much for having me on. It's been a uh, pleasure being here. Uh,
ਚੀਜ਼ ਤੇ 